Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about keystone species in conservation biology. Now let us start. First of all, we have to understand what is keystone species. Keystone species is a species that has a large effect on environment relative to its abundance. Its abundance, its presence has large effect on environment. For example, presence of lion helps in balancing the ecosystem. Lion is deer and other herbivore species as their prey. As a result, it helps in balancing the ecosystem. It helps in protecting the plant species from overconsumption. Keystone species is a plant or animal that plays a crucial role in the way an ecosystem functions. Keystone species may be either plant or animal and it helps in conserving the ecosystem function and balanced flow of food chain. A keystone species is often but not always predator. It may be prey also, it may be pollinator also. A few predators can control the distribution and population of large number of prey species. Here is an another example. A single tiger can control numerous animals such as deer, rabbit, wolf in an ecosystem. If the number of deer, rabbit increases, then there will be overconsumption of plant species and they may extinct due to overconsumption. Their extinction will be their presence will be in danger. Herbivores can also be keystone species. The concept of keystone species was introduced in 1969 by ecologist Robert Pine. This structure helps in understanding the real meaning of keystone species. In civil engineering, if keystone collapse, all the system will collapse in distribution. Here, this is the keystone. If this collapse, then whole system will collapse. In the same sense, keystone species play a crucial role in ecosystem. They have crucial role as this keystone. Their number will be less, but its role is very important. Its number is this is only one part, its role is very important. Same as their number will be less, but the role is very important in an ecosystem. This kind of species will be mainly pollinators and predators. Here is an example of predator that is tiger. We have already discussed about its role and here is an another example of pollinator that is bee. Plant will be affected and the whole ecosystem will be affected in the absence of bee. The agent for pollination will be absent and as a result there will be no pollination. So it affect and disturb the balance in ecosystem. Here is an another important example to understand the role of keystone species in an ecosystem. Sea urchin consumes sea kelp or kills sorry kelp forest and this kelp forest is habitat or home to large number of sea animals they may be vertebrate or invertebrate. If sea urchin feeds or kills kelp forest then species living in this kelp forest will destroy or they will be in danger. Sea otter is sea urchin and it helps in balancing the number of sea urchin. It helps in decreasing the number of sea urchin so your sea otter is a keystone species. Sea otter indirectly helps to protect the species living in kelp forest. So, sea otter has crucial role in balancing the ecosystem of ocean.
so sea otter region key to the species in ocean ecosystem large mammalian predators are used to species for large ecosystem they consume a wide variety of species and thereby help in maintaining a balance in ecosystem some of the examples are lions tigers etc they have crucial role their number is less but still their importance is more in the ecosystem thank you